over 4,000 military aircraft, silent and still under the sun. It looks like a graveyard, a final resting place for the titans of the sky. But this isn't an ending. This is the 309th Aerospace Maintenance and Regeneration Group, better known as the Boneyard. And while it may look like a scrapyard, it's actually a strategic asset worth billions of dollars. So why are these incredible machines here? And how is this desert graveyard one of the most valuable pieces of military real estate in the world? Located at Davis Monthan Air Force Base in Tucson, Arizona, this is the world's largest military aircraft boneyard. It stores thousands of retired military aircraft. The dry desert climate helps to preserve the aircraft, and some are eventually returned to service or stripped for parts. While public tours of the Boneyard are no longer available, the nearby Pima Air and Space Museum offers a similar experience. But, you know, some planes aren't here to die, but to be reborn. This is the Wise Guy, a B-52H, with the tail number 60-0034, had served for decades, accumulating over 17,000 flight hours. In 2008, it was flown to the 309th Aerospace Maintenance and Regeneration Group in this desert. The call to return came unexpectedly. In May 2016, another B-52H was destroyed in a fire during an aborted takeoff at Anderson Air Force Base in Guam. To bring the bomber fleet back to the mandated strength of 76 aircraft, the Air Force decided to do something extraordinary, regenerate a B-52 from the boneyard. Wise Guy was selected for this monumental task. Bringing a massive 60-year-old bomber back to life after more than a decade in the desert was a colossal undertaking. The process began in earnest in 2019 and involved multiple Air Force units and facilities. In April 2020, Wise Guy was flown to the Oklahoma City Air Logistics Complex at Tinker AFB for program depot maintenance. This is a heavy-duty overhaul where the aircraft is almost completely disassembled, inspected, and repaired. It received extensive structural work, new electrical wiring, and software updates to match the rest of the active B-52 fleet. 